If you open up Instagram on the iPad, for some reason to this day, they still don't have a native full screen version of Instagram on iPad. It's just the iPhone version in that size in the middle of your iPad screen. But I have found a workaround to get you a full screen version of Instagram. The one way they've tried to implement, which is what I'm not covering here, is they added this option right here in the corner. If you press it, it stretches out the Instagram app here. So it's still basically the iPhone version, but it zooms it in to make this full screen. So as long as you update your Instagram app on your iPad, you will get this new arrow here where it lets you make it full screen, but it's gonna look blurry. It doesn't look quite right. So I'll show you a better version that I like. So instead of using what I just showed you, which is just the Instagram app here, I just went to the app store here and looked for Instagram and that's the one I showed you. Instead of using that, we're gonna go to Safari and we're going to go to Instagram.com. On Instagram.com, press this up arrow here next to Instagram.com and you want to add this to the home screen right here, this option. Press this option and press add right next to it. So this is the Instagram app, but this is the Safari version, the web version basically, that looks a lot better and you could just access it from here. So I'm gonna click on it. It's going to ask you to log into Instagram. Again, I'm not using the app, I'm just using the web version. I'm gonna log into my Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and save info so it remembers me next time and it's not gonna ask for my information. And now I'm inside of Instagram and let me go to my profile to show you. This is actually not the app, it's the web version, but it's completely full screen. So nothing is blurry, everything is very user friendly. You have your menu on top here instead of on the bottom like the app, but you could still go from the home page. you could post from here, you could go ahead and go to your profile page from here, and you could basically view anything you want to view. So you could click on anything and it will show it to you just like that and you could exit out of it. You could go ahead and look at your notifications. So very user friendly and much better experience in my opinion than the app version. So again, this is the Safari version. This is the app version, which if you leave it in the native setting, it basically just looks like this, where the Safari version looks a lot nicer and is completely full screen. So I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.